Hello everybody, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, Story Mode. Bum, bum. Alright, last time we got not even that far in chapter 1. Chapter one. wonder if we are going to make it past chapter 1, or if we're going to end it. Hopefully... We get to the good fighting part where I can use my pit pistol. People. Well, I reckon back in my day. I don't know what that was about. Oh, okay. Get this done and over with, Mr. Pearson. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea 50 days, and you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. No government agents are hunting you down. Sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If need be, we can eat you. You're a fetish. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. I'm go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You need something to eat out there. Sort it, salt it off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hands. Instead, you're listening to you two. Give this game in the hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, take this. I can't use it. You'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun. I'll scare off every animal for miles around. Let's head out. I wish I could have done more. 
I didn't mean it like that. Just glad to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Harvey well, told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. This is how Mike Green copy used to do it. <laughs> no. Perfect. 
she all that blood. <laughs> Just from one arrow. Look at the graphics, man. These graphics are amazing. Now here is my horse. Maybe I'll ride this deer back to camp. Horse gets over here. I promise I will not kill you. I am tired of walking.
what you don't know. <laughs> Thank God I didn't shoot arrows at it. I'd be dead. <laughs> as wise. No problem. I did that for a long time. I <laughs> done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but it's Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. For a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. How long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? I'll see you both later. You skin that one, did you? 
dumped on the floor there. Woo wee! Look at me go! Everything is laggy. Hopefully, we get out of the lag. We out of the lag. No, no, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you. Shut up, Michael. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm -hmm. I guess, I guess folks men I fell, but when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needs punching hard. You want to sit around and wait for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. We've been through a lot recently. We hardly backed our feet yet. The last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business. Long ago, they were talking about trains detonated here. Cole always had good information. Come on. You think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! <sighs> All right, we got it right. Gentlemen, this is 
is it. This is it. Are we, Are we goddamn ready? Ready, 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 ready Dutch. Good. Good. Now. Now. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan and I, we're head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Squale, you two hold position here. Let's go.
Oh, ho, ho. I leave my people on the back. I'm the band. <laughs>
Yeah, I think I did pretty good. I'm sorry for not talking. See that fella? Must be in the camp with Cole. Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. Okay. Yeah. No. 
I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at it. I was always ugly, that. Describe to me. Lie still, son. Low Abigail. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. You see me now. What's left of me? About you. Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set for charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was hanging low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just, I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Who is Leviticus Cornwall? He's a big railway man, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Question, Marcus. 
That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back. What I say, we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscoll's are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money. Once you work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's a water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay.
Mr. Lincoln? You are not allowed on here. I'm going up. We have to stop this train. Shit. I never thought about getting my ass beat by Mr. Lincoln. For the sky, pilgrim. Papers. Bonds? Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Here. So 
up useful things we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice. Thank, Thank God. God. Come on. Come on. What did you buy? These bonds. Are they worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we could probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? Train? Yeah. Get it out of here. About them. What do you think? I don't know. It's up to you. Kill them. Leave them here. Take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! Come on, we've been on. All right. the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. Worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's going wrong with old Dutch. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, Dutch.
the street. Got to keep us moving, but calm. Not too rough there, brother. Ah, shit. shit. Okay. okay, let's take a look. You, you all right back there? Is everything all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on. You still strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. Just say it. Say left. Pick the wheel up. So useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got spoiled a very raw deal. This is the heartland we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. Now, how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasant? We don't, in spite of that talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So... What happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took us somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man. The drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? It's a long story. Yeah. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe over them. It's a good place to buy low. It'll do for now. now how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know. Maybe his name's changed, not him, but 
We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like much to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. That's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I know 
things that things have been tough. But we are, but we are safe, safe now. now. And we are far too poor. So it is, so it is time for everyone to get to, to, get to work. Get to, get to work and stay, and stay out of trouble. Remember, Remember we are itinerant, itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. To the north. Get now get out there and see, see what, what you can find. Uncle, Uncle Reverend, Reverend Swanson, Swanson, no more passengers. No more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There's a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. Uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine. Sure. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're going to have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Chapter 2. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced out of your farm. Thank you. And you? And you? I'm going to read a book. Go find Reverend. My best shave. Go. Meet me at the bottom of the river. The devil has come to carry me home. Meet me at the bottom of the river. 
Why did I use my bow? Not 
not looking good. Let's go. Darn it. Darn it. Mm -hmm. now, that's now that's what I'm talking about. I'll shoot you. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. 
punch.
Back off, way. Salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just usual. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Well, guys. I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I keep doing this. Making them this long. If you guys like it. Hit the like button. Put comments on. Subscribe. Leave some comments. Subscribe. See you guys later.